Modern ACPV modules are a great way to generate your own electricity for private consumption or for sale to local utility providers. In this video, we'll show you how to connect the final pieces of the lightning protection system. Place your ACPV modules. Wire the modules. Connect the cable clips. Secure the modules to the rails and one another with end clamps and mid clamps. And set up your panel record. First, let's discuss completing the array's lightning protection system. Since they're on the roof, solar cells must be protected against lightning strikes. In another video, we connected weave bonding jumpers to spliced rails. Now we'll bind all the rails together with weave lugs and copper wire. This is a weave lug. A weave is designed to form gas-tight mechanical and good electrical connections between components. A system of weave lugs, washers, bonding jumpers, and copper wire ensures that if your system is struck by lightning, the electrical energy will flow to the ground instead of destroying sensitive components. Once your rails are attached to the roof, you can begin attaching weave lugs to rail sections. First, slide the bolt into the rail bracket as shown here. Next, place the weave washer over the bolt and make sure it's flush with the rail. Notice the dimples on this washer. They are designed to contact tightly with the aluminum rail. If you have to remove the lug after tightening this component to the rail, you must use a new weave. With the weave washer in place, secure the lug over it. Then place the stainless steel washer and secure it with a nut. It's important to tighten the lug until the dimples are securely embedded into the rail. As you can see, each row of modules gets one weeb lug. Ensure the lugs are laid out in a straight line from the roof peak to the gutter. When all the lugs are connected and secure, you can run the copper ground wire for the entire array and secure it with the weeb lug secondary bolt. Now that the lightning protection system is complete, we can start placing the ACPV modules. When we install our flashing, we will work from the roof gutter up to the peak. With the modules, we'll work from the peak to the gutter. Since you're using ACPV modules with the microconverter already installed, you'll avoid a lot of wiring work in this step. To install the modules, you'll use the following. The ACPV modules, end clamps, mid clamps, cable clips, and transition cables. Let's talk about the transition cables. Each module is fitted with two cables. This allows the module to be connected with another module on either side. The first module you place will connect with a single module adjacent to it, but the secondary cable will be end capped and close the network. The last module you place will be connected to the module adjacent to it and connected to your power management system. A few notes on module cabling. On a 20 amp connection, you can connect together a maximum of 16 panels. Depending on how many solar panels you install, you may have one or more panel cable networks connected to your power management system. You can connect the panels how you like, and however is most convenient for you, up to the maximum allowable panels per 20 amp connection. When you place the modules and connect the cables, you'll need to secure the cables with cable clips. Use the 90 degree and straight cable clips to ensure loose cables aren't scraping against your roof. As you place modules, you'll connect the cables and secure them to the rails with straight or 90 degree cable clips. This raises the question, how are the modules secured to the rails? We secure the ACPV modules with end clamps and mid clamps. End clamps secure a module at the end of each rail row. Mid clamps secure modules adjacent to one another. End clamps and mid clamps both include a UGC-1 ground clip. Like the Wii bonding jumper and washers, the UGC-1 ground clip further improves our grounding connection and protects your array. Let's place the modules on our array. As you can see, our rails are secure to the flashing and connected by both splice bars and bonding jumpers. Place the module in the corner in line with your installation array plan. Make sure you center the module symmetrically on the rails. Approximately 25% of the module should overhang each rail 
and 50% of the module should be between both rails. Now end cap the exterior protruding cable and clip it securely in place. Leave the interior protruding cable as it will be connected and clipped when we place the next module. Secure the first module with end clamps since it is positioned at the end of a rail. Make sure the UGC-1 grounding clips are snug with the rails and that the nibs seen here penetrate the rail when the end clamps are secured. Here the technician has placed the lip of the end clamp over the module. This secures the module to the rail. Be sure you secure both end clamps for the first module before you move on to the second solar panel. When the first panel is secure, place the other ACPV module adjacent to it. Connect the cables and clip them in place. Use mid clamps to secure these two modules to the rails. Repeating this process is all you have to do to connect each module to the rails and one another. When all the modules are down and cabled together, as we previously described, you'll need an electrician to connect them to a new power management system. Be sure you square everything while you're installing the modules. Also, while it's not technically required, we recommend you create your own panel record while you're installing the modules. Suppose, for example, a single panel failed. Your power manager will inform you which panel is faulty, but not necessarily where the panel is located on your roof. A panel record will solve this problem. To set up your own panel record, simply remove one of the sticker serial numbers on the ACPV module when you connect it to the rails. Each module has two stickers, so don't worry about losing track of what is what. Take the second sticker, place it on a grid like so, and if you ever have a problem, you'll know exactly where the panel is located in your array. Otherwise, you'll have to get up on the roof and look at each ACPV module serial number until you find the right panel. Your Ingram Solar Energy System is now almost completely ready. All that's left is for your utility company to wire your array into the grid and for you to start generating clean, free electricity. Thanks for watching our module installation video.